Hi, this is T. King at OverTheWire.biz. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on ConvertX to DVD. Um, what it is basically is a program that allows you to convert files like .vob and .avi or something like that into a format that is DVD re or can be read in your DVD player. So, so I should say DVD readable. Um, ConvertX to, uh, to DVD is a very powerful and very simple looking program, but it can become very complicated, so I'm just going to show you an easy way to get around in it. Um, that way, you know, once you get the basics down, then you can start exploring. And again, if you're going to try out as far as exploring, I suggest you get another program called Power ISO. That way, you can make the file, and you don't even have to save it or have it burned to a DVD. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But Power ISO is impeccable as far it proves impeccable as far as um, uh, its practical usage with this because it, it acts like a DVD uh, burner or or ROM whatever you want to call it um, and it's very very useful too uh, you can have multiple drives and really only literally have one drive in your computer so Power ISO is really cool and if you don't know any much about that I'll have to put another video out on Power ISO okay let's get into ConvertX to, D to DVD this is what it looks like very basic looking this is a trial version I'm letting you know right off the bat um, I will not tell you to hack it or anything like that. I suggest you buy it if you really, really like it and, depend, and will be depending on it for your home videos and whatnot. Um, a lot of home videos, by the way, are uh, shot in .vob format, so keep that in mind. All right. The way you get started on this is, is this plus button, but when I hit the add button, it gets the actual movie itself. Okay, I'm going to click on it, and one of those options, you can change the name. Um, you can do it to anything you want. I'm just going to leave it what it is right now. You can you you can change the template. This right here is the template, okay? And we have auto start playback. I was telling you about all these options. Remember the title menu. You can also change the title menu to anything you want. You don't have to have it as the. Uh, notice it says here disk name menu. That's what the disk name is. You can change the name of the menu. You can even change the background, which I thought was really cool, of the. Uh, uh, excuse me. Of the back of the uh, template, which if you want to you can like I'm gonna just do mine real quick I'm gonna put in here a quick uh, I'll support the formats I'm gonna put my logo in there just so you can see we'll hit OK and see it pops in over the wire alright you can do the same thing with uh, the disk name again you can change it again it's just saying the same thing here no no different um, don't mess it with this very much unless you don't have the right language and you want to put subtitles on it and they give you subtitles let me give you an idea real quick. We're gonna change we're just gonna put a subtitle in here. Okay? Add a subtitle. And remember where it was? Does anyone remember where we put it at? Centurion. Okay. Alright, now see, now some of them usually are readme files. Notice that it doesn't say anything there except except when I put any file. Now it's there. So we're gonna click on it and see if it, it, it loads. Sometimes it won't load because it's not in the right format. And I've had that happen only too many times so um, make sure you get the right one you can actually go on the, go online and look for the right subtitle which is really cool I thought that was you know interesting for the movie but it doesn't you, you may not find them all the time but I, I found them each time I, I've looked okay it's not gonna load there so that that obviously wasn't a good format usually it's a readme file from what I understand anyway um, with that said uh, you have also the option to change some of the video formats we were talking about before uh, leave them as is, uh, you know, because you're in, especially if you're you're, you're a novice user. Just leave them in the beginning. Test try a couple DVDs out. You, again, you do not have to use actual DVDs. Use Power ISO so you can emulate uh, the environment as if you have a real DVD player. So anyway, with that said, this pretty much ends the tutorial. Um, we're just going to hit the convert. It's going to tell me that's going to be a watermark. Just hit try. This is a trial version. If you're going to try it out. Um, and again, it was the preview. You don't have to have it if you don't want to. You, know, you can put it back if you want to. It just depends on what you want. That's how you put it back. Um, you, just, you can just watch as it goes, but it's best just to walk away and let it finish its job. It will automatically burn for the most part. Um, and you can, again, you don't have to worry about sitting around. It seems like a, a, a pretty easy, easy enough program to use. Uh, again, for the novice user, just use the basics. In the beginning, try it out. Trial and error is everything, so don't be afraid. All right, this pretty much ends this tutorial. Uh, my name is TJ. I'm here at OverTheWire.biz, and if you want to join the conversation, you have questions about programs you want. This was this came by way of request. Um, there's a program that you want us to do a tutorial on. Um, 
the website to look at is our blog is that www.superiornetworks with an s dot b i z slash blog thanks for joining us here this is over the wire biz and my name is t king and have a great day